13 quid a month for a whole bunch of repeats and access to BBC iPlayer, which is you can watch the repeats again at your leisure. Hi, it's me again, and just a very quick video for you today. I just wanted to talk about the difference in value for money between the television license and Netflix as an example, just really quickly, because you can get Netflix for as little as $5.99 a month. The television license is what, it's 13 quid a month, I believe, isn't it? So let's take a quick look at this headline, and then we're gonna take a quick look at the BBC, and we'll have a little comparison just for a bit of fun today, shall we? Cheer myself up a bit, right. Netflix has announced a huge list of new films dropping this year. We're already quite late into the year. They have got a whole list here. Where are we? So, look at that. September. Blood Brothers, Nightbrook, Schumacher documentary. Look forward to that on September the 15th. The Starling, My Little Pony, A New Generation. Cracking. No One Gets Out Alive. That sounds interesting. October, Diana the Musical. Is that the Diana I'm thinking of, or a different Diana? Don't know, probably end up watching it though. Army of Thieves, Fever Den, no, no, Hypnotic. November, The Harder They Fall, Love Hard, a cop movie. Red Notice, they're supposed to be quite good, Red Notice, so I shall probably watch that one. But anyway, this isn't an advert for Netflix, that's not what this is about. I was just showing that they're making an effort, and a lot of these are Netflix's own productions. Some of them, obviously, they've bought in. But this is just the movies that are for the rest of the year. This isn't even the TV shows they're bringing for the rest of the year. So we've seen what Netflix are up to for the rest of the year. Let's have a little look at what's on, uh, what's on BBC One today. So it's Friday the 27th of August, as you can see there. So let's start off with BBC Breakfast, probably the worst breakfast show. I don't miss having a TV licence for that. Animal Park. Don't know that, but it's not a repeat. Homes Under the Hammer is a repeat. Wanted Down Under Revisited is a repeat. Caught Red-Handed is a repeat. Oh, Bargain Hunt, that's not a repeat. That's normally a repeat, isn't it? The Coroner, that's a repeat. Impossible, that's a repeat. Greatest Escapes to the Country, that's a repeat. Saved and Remade, don't know what that is. The Bidding Room, don't know what that is, but it is a repeat. Pointless is a repeat. The news, if they could repeat it, they would. Strictly Amy, Crohn's and Me, is a repeat. Would I Lie to You, is a repeat. EastEnders should be scrapped, frankly. Celebrity MasterChef, not a repeat. King Gary, don't know what that is, news. And then Black Rolling Stones is a repeat. So that was a good chunk of the day was a repeat. Let's have a quick look at Saturday, shall we? Oh, Saturday Kitchen, not a repeat. Isn't that live, though? I don't know. Pizza Boys is a repeat. Bargain Hunt, repeat. Money for Nothing, repeat. Garden Rescue, repeat. Escape to the Country, repeat. Pointless Celebrities, a repeat. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. It's not even a good film, is it? And they've repeated it. It's obviously not a new film. But, uh, awful. And that bloody song was from that and all it. Was that Brian May? Or, uh, Brian, Brian whatever. Awful song. Sunday, quick look. And then we'll call it a day for calling out the repeats. Match of the day was repeated from yesterday. Fern Britain meets. Repeat. Comes under the hammer. Repeat. Bargain hunt. Repeat. Escape to the country. Repeat. Oh, look. Points of view is on at 10 to 2. Maybe we should write into points of view and talk about all these repeats. Antiques Roadshow is a repeat. Crazy. Crazy. So I just fail to understand why anyone would want to pay... 13 quid a month for access to the BBC. Granted, it allows you to watch broadcast TV from the other channels as well. But everything on all the other channels is available to stream. Even the Sky channels, you can get that on Now TV. Watch whatever you want when you want to watch it. But just as a comparison of value for money between Netflix, and I know many of you out there, you can't stand Netflix. You don't like what it stands for. You don't like what it does. And that's fine. I don't like the BBC, what it stands for or what it does, we're all allowed our opinion, aren't we? But this is just about value for money. $5.99 a month, you can cancel any time, and when you do cancel your Netflix, they don't send you threatening letters and someone to knock on the door of your house and demand to come in and to see if you're watching Netflix or not. You know, $5.99 a month, you can cancel when you want, tons of premium stuff on there, adding new stuff all the time, watch whenever you want, on any device you want, pretty much. I, I know fridges with Netflix on them now. Or 13 quid a month, for a whole bunch of repeats and access to BBC iPlayer, which is you can watch the repeats again at your leisure on BBC iPlayer. 
Which one do you think is better value for money, taking your prejudice for Netflix out of it? I think it's quite clear. Don't you? Why would anybody want to pay the TV license fee? Let's get it scrapped. Let's work on that. If you want to find out more about what you can watch without a telly license and how to cancel your telly license, you'll find all the links below. And if you want to ask me any questions, my contact details are down there as well. Buzz me an email. I'm a bit slow on them because I do get a lot, but I'll try my best to get round to you. I promise. And uh, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching.